excited underwater. And I, I like to say digital imaging diver. She's just not a photographer. She's just not a videography. She's doing digital imaging. She's doing both philosophies. And af after that, she went back to the dive store and she actually purchased a light system from them and she actually purchased a wide angle lens. So there was a, an example of taking a customer who was unsatisfied and was really blaming the dive store and it wasn't their fault because truth be told, she didn't really seek the counseling that she needed or the training that she needed for the product. But after giving her a little additional training and a little mentoring, she went back and she made additional purchases. So I think that's a great lesson uh, for dive stores out there. You know, if you can offer the training out there, and perhaps even offer the training in what I like to call a soft sell. Obviously, you're going to have customers coming in, they're going to want to find an affordable system, and they may forego the light, they may forego uh, the wide angle lens, invite them out to your pool session, loan them a light, loan them a wide angle lens, have them come out to the quarry and loan them the equipment there. Let them see the benefits of that, and it'll sell itself. It'll be the soft sell. You won't have to ask for the sale, they'll come to you and ask for the sale. So next, and this is a quote from Brenda uh, in Tacoma, and this is also um, a very, very common um, uh, complaint out there. She said, I can't figure out how to set up my ISO stop. What? <laughs> What's an ISO stop? Well, obviously, um, Brenda was wrong. She meant F stop, and basically what was happening with Brenda is uh, she had a little uh, point and shoot camera, and she wanted to, and to her credit, she wanted to learn more about her point and shoot, and she went to a seminar. Unfortunately, she went to a SLR seminar, and she had a point and shoot, so she really did receive a lot of great training, but it was kind of over her head for what she was trying to do or for her product. So I think maybe uh, what we can learn here is uh, perhaps uh, with a bit of counseling, you can place your consumers in the right class for the right product. And here's the big thing, and, I, and here again, I don't want to tell a consumer that they're a knucklehead to their face, but if she would have read the owner's manual, maybe she could have figured out if she had enough stuff and how to use it, but she, she didn't. And there again, customers are sometimes um, unfortunately lazy about that. There again, one of the things I did with Brenda is I, uh, I'm kind of a geek. I, I travel everywhere with my little thumb drive and I have all my documents out here. She had a computer. We popped up, we, we popped up my thumb drive. I pulled out a little PDF and I pulled out some pages from my workbook that I made with Bonica, JVC, and Sony. And we sat down and we did a little drill and we learned different things about her camera and how it could be applied to her camera. So in solving Brenda's problem, maybe my suggestion there is counseling. You know, make, making sure that uh, when your consumers go to the regional trade shows, you know, recommend the uh, classes that they should be going to. You know, find out for yourself at the regional trade show. Will they be offering uh, a point and shoot seminar? Will they be offering an SLR seminar? Make sure you steer your customers in the right direction. Or even consider bringing those people into your store. I know uh, many people here at Backscatter and WebPixel and Aquaco, they do all the regional trade shows. They travel all around. And they'll be more than happy to go ahead and uh, come to you and speak to you, for your, for you, for your staff, and even your customers. All you have to do is really ask. I, I believe as part of uh, coming in uh, here to the room today and attending this seminar, we got a little questionnaire sheet. And I think they were handing out a little list of all the uh, speakers. I don't know if they still have that. You can ask for one in the back, but grab that before you go and take a look at who's been speaking on what topics and hold on to that. So this way, when those regional trade shows come to you, see if these people will be in town and see if that's an opportunity for you to learn, for your staff to learn, and maybe even steer your consumers towards that, those lessons that are free. So after working with Brenda, she, uh, we, we, like, we uh, sat down, we had some coffee, and she promised to go back to her dive store and actually take a class. Next one. I met this wonderful, wonderful couple, uh, Gene and Deb, while I was on a cruise. And um, they, had, they had just purchased a brand new camera out of the box uh, for the cruise. And, uh, well, here's their quote. Uh, we just want to know what all those little pictures on the wheel are. Okay, well, well there again. Gene, Deb, come on, guys, work with you. Open your owner's manual and the information's 
there, but like most people, they take the camera out, they put the battery in, put the memory card in, go off and shoot, right? Ah, forget all that documentation, forget the warranty card, forget about reading the owner's manual, who needs that? Well, I spent a little time with Gene and Deb, and um, what, how I met them is actually on the uh, cruise ship, they were uh, actually uh, attending a Get to Know Your Digital Camera seminar. Now, unfortunately, this particular seminar wasn't the greatest seminar because what they did is they actually adapted an old SLR film um, presentation and they tried to sell it as a digital camera presentation. So it really didn't work and it really spoke over to the heads of a lot of people. There again, you know, most of the people that I try to talk to, I'm, 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 I like and I enjoy working with people who are doing point and shoot cameras, doing the hybrid video and point and shoot cameras. So these are the consumers I'm meeting. And a lot of times when you're you're getting you're talking about f-stops and IS, ISOs, that's really going over a lot of people's heads, unfortunately. So one of the things I recommend to Gina Deb is, well, do you guys have the owner's manual? No, of course they left the owner's manual at home. So one of the things I did there again, I, I being a geek that I am, I pulled out my little thumb drive. I went to the uh, printer area on the on the cruise ship and I printed out. In the manual I created, there's just a little cheat sheet of commonly used icons. And I sat down with Gene and Deb and we went over this, how, the, how what all these different icons mean. We found them on their camera and we steered them in the right direction. So in follow up to that, we walked around the deck and we looked for photo opportunities and uh, we took a bunch of pictures, we had a great time. They offered me a few bucks for my time and of course I declined. You know, I let them buy me a beer instead. And uh, I was gone for about three hours. I just want to let you know, um, if you're off on your own for three hours and you leave your wife behind and she's not in spa getting your treatment, you're in a lot of trouble. My wife has uh, since forgiven me because Gina Deb uh, uh, told my wife what a great job I did with them. So my suggestions there are, uh, if, with consumers, get them to read the owner's manual. You know, and, or offer them some counseling sitting down and uh, learning to use their cameras. Last one I want to talk about today, and this is a very, very, very common one, and I not only hear this from consumers, but I also hear this from some dive store owners as well as dive staff. They say, hey, you know what, I'd really like to get into video editing, but I don't have the money to buy a new computer right now. Okay, well, I'll be honest with you. Um, Jeremy and people who think like that are kind of misinformed. There are some great products out there, and a lot of those products are available on a free trial basis. And they, you know, they, can, be, uh, and they can also be used on older computers. So for example, um, some of the best programs out there for editing video, if you're on a PC, you probably hear Adobe Premiere. Adobe Premiere is you know, probably the, the best one out there, and it's available in an Elements form. A lot of times it'll cost you about $130. Sometimes you can find it on sale for about 99 bucks. Uh, in the elements form, so the uh, 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 stripped down package, it's, it's pretty affordable as far as uh, editing on apples. Uh, apples come with uh, with iMovie, and you can also go ahead and um, upgrade uh, to, to, to better uh, editors out there. But one of the things I like to do with consumers, there's some um, products out there, and um, they're called auto producers, some people call them movie mashers. One that I've worked with extensively is from a company called Movie, M-U-V-E-E. -E. And uh, what it does, it's a real, real simple concept. Uh, it is you take your, your stills, you take your video, you just drop them into a timeline, you grab some music, you throw it in there too, and it mashes it all together and puts out a result for you. Now, is this award-winning journalism? No. This is not something that's going to be aired uh, on, on television, but is it a cool, simple, e easy to use, fast video that you could share with your friends on Vimeo, on uh, YouTube. This is something you can burn to a DVD and share with your friends or send grandma for Christmas? Absolutely. And what's nice about it too is the program is available on a free trial basis. If you like it, you can buy it. And it's easy to use and it's something that you can do for yourself for, to uh, impress your staff and impress your students. But one of the things I, I like to do is when I go on the liveaboard, after the afternoon dive, I'll run back to my stateroom, I'll upload my quick video clips and pictures, I'll throw some music on it, let the program do its thing, burn it to a quick DVD, come dinner time, we're all sitting around dinner, everyone's watching the movie,
from just an hour before. It's really quick, 